Oh, shit. How do I wear clothes? Ah! Talking to yourself is really awkward. Fuck. Just be cool. I'm not cool. That's the problem. I'm not cool. No, you know what? No, because fucking... Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of the Amerlin Study. We're going to jump right into the deep end of the pool here by doing a reread of Robert Jordan's epic fantasy series, The Wheel of Time. I'm going to listen on audiobook and give real-time reactions and thoughts as we're as I'm going through, and then um, some discussion afterward about any thoughts and feelings that I might have, and it should be a good time. Uh, we're going to start with, obviously, the Eye of the World, so let's go ahead and get this party started. Audio Renaissance presents The Eye of the World Audio by Robert Jordan, read for you by Kate Redding and Michael Kramer. Kate Redding and Michael Kramer are some of the most delightful people I've ever Prologue. met in my life. Dragon Mount. Men and women and children struck down in attempted flight by the lightnings that had flashed down every corridor. D or dead people by laying around in them, your house. Or sunken into stone of the palace. It's really going to affect your retail that had value. The stones and sought, almost alive. Luz Theron Telamon wandered the palace, deftly keeping his balance when the earth heaved. Must have Ileana. strong core. For a moment he fingered the symbol on his cloak. A circle, half white and half black, the colors separated by a sinuous line. Ooh. A tall man, just into his middle years, handsome once, but now with hair already more white than brown and a face lined by strain and worry. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's that hot. seen too much. Began to chuckle, then threw back his head. Come to me, my wife. You must see this. I got bad news Behind for you, him, bud. The air rippled. Not so tall as Luz Theron. Dude's just appearing out of nowhere? He was clothed all in black, save for the snow-white lace at his throat and the silver work on the turned-down tops of his thigh-high boots. A fancy boy. Have you the voice, stranger? It will soon be time for the singing. The black-clad man's eyes widened, darted to the body of the golden-haired woman, then back to Luz Theron. Shaitan, oh. take you. Does the taint already have you so far in its grip? Seems like name, it. For a moment, Luz Theron stared at his raised hand, fascinated by the patterns of grime. Then he wiped his hand on his even dirtier coat and turned his attention back to the other man. Honestly, that sounds like my life, just you? with ADHD. What do you want? <laughs> Betrayer of hope. It was a whisper from Luz dun, Theron. Dun, dun. Memory stirred. But I will yet make them kneel and worship it. What Ambitious. What do you do with your name? After this day, men will call you Kinslayer. Once you summon the Nine Rods of Dominion. A nine Rods of Dominion, wretch. you bad name, I call it. You defeated me at the gates of Parandizen. But I am the greater now. Sore I will loser. not let you die without knowing that. When you die, your last thought will be the full knowledge of your defeat, of how complete and utter it is. If I let you die at all. Dude is petty I as fuck. What is that is so, Yena. so petty. I was never very skilled at healing, and I follow a different power now. But even one of them could only give you a few lucid moments. His sudden smile was cruel. Doesn't seem to bode but well, I fear does it? Shaitan's healing is different from the sort you know. Be healed, Luz Theron. He extended his hands, and the light dimmed as if a shadow had been laid across the sun. Fire seared his marrow. Acid rushed along his veins. He toppled backwards, crashing to the marble floor. His head struck the stone and rebounded. Ow! His heart pounded, trying to beat its way out of his chest. It's a recipe for traumatic every brain pulse injury. gushed new flame through him. Helplessly he convulsed, thrashing, his skull a sphere of purest agony on the point of bursting. His Get horse screamed reverberated through the palace. His eyes fell on the golden-haired woman. And the scream that was ripped out of him dwarfed every sound he had made before. Uh-oh. Eldena, no. No! I like to talk a lot of shit, but the way Michael Kramer reads this, like, 
I got tears prickling in the back of my eyes, like, oof. Luz Theron raised his head, and the black-clad man took an involuntary step back from that gaze. And we will fight until time dies and the shadow is triumphant. He it's a lot the of shout, fighting. The raised fist. What hand struck down every life that bore a drop of your blood? Everyone who loved you. Everyone you loved. Not mine, Kinslayer. Not mine. Everywhere lay lifeless faces he knew. Faces he loved. Old servants and friends of his childhood. Faithful. I feel like in the show if they do it well this is going to be really 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 hard to watch companion hopefully they'll do it better than winter dragon the land around him was flat and empty a river flowed nearby straight and broad the river straight and broad i never picked up on that before straight and broad so after he makes Dragon Mount, that actually creates the island of Tarvalon. Interesting. I never picked up on that before. And he could feel the oily taint fouling its surface. In his pride, he had believed. Hubris. He, the broad, straight river had pushed into a curve away from the mountain. There it split to form a long island in its midst. And of course it says it right the there. The shadow of the mountain almost reached the island. It is not done between us. I mean, it seems it pretty will done. It not be done until the end of time. Such an edgelord. Waiting. <sighs> this prologue is, I think... Reading this via audiobook is going to be really interesting because I think it's easy for me to skim over parts so that I don't notice them when I'm reading like a, a physical book um, or an ebook. But listening to it, it's a completely different experience. I don't, I haven't done audiobooks in a really long time, and I've never listened to um, The Wheel of Time on audiobook before. So, um, <clears throat> So, you know, as a for instance, of the three or four times that I've read that prologue, it never registered that the river was straight to start with. And then it never registered that after Dragon Mount was made, an island was created. So there are going to be a lot of really dumbass observations that I'm going to be making in the process of this, that because I obviously, my reading comprehension is, <laughs> is kind of terrible. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. Just as a dumbass. Um, all right. That was nice and short, a good way to start, I think. And, um, I hope that you enjoyed. I'm sure that it'll get better as we go along. And, um, Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to find me online, you can find me on social media at Amerlin uh, Study, at Amerlin Study on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to, you can email me, uh, show at AmerlinStudy.com. And what else? Oh, yeah, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And hit the little bell for notifications. And if you like what you've seen so far, I don't know why you would. It's not very good. If you like what you've seen so far and you want to see more, uh, you could uh, support me on Patreon. Amarlin.study slash Patreon is where you can find that. Um, yeah, I think that that's everything that I have for you. I uh, Be nice. In the comments it's my first it's my first time and uh i will see you next time have a great night